Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a monthly favourites video of collective haul stuff I've been getting so that I can do it for you. I am sorry for being absent lately, it's just I've been really busy so I'm doing it this month. So starting off with two favourite foundations at the moment are Remmel Wake Me Up and the Remmel 25 Hour Foundation. This one is super super like it makes me look bright and awake and it already it covers like my little like eye puffles. Um, the second I put it on which is great because it means I don't need cakey concealer on top of all of that so it's really great this one is full coverage and looks flawless I love the finish it's kind of like a demi matte finish it's really beautiful so these two are my like must-haves at the moment and they're super affordable which is like my favorite thing about any foundation if you can find one that's affordable go for it um, Lashes at the moment, I love Dodo in D115. I have been lash fanatic at the moment and I don't tend to wear them every day. It's more of like an occasion thing, but um, lashes are amazing. I do have a discount code for Dodo, so I will link that down below. I uh, also love the Model Rock. These are D W376, so they're a bit wispy and long and I really enjoy them too. And the Manicure, Manicure? Yeah, Glam Eyes Manicure. This is a candor style because I, I take them out of the box because I find them so annoying to keep them in the box. I prefer them like that. So that's what they look like. I really don't like these like wiry things though. They're just a pain in the butt. So I will cut those off obviously. These are my second set so that's why they are brand new. The Rimmel Contour has been my go-to all the time. It's super great if you're traveling anywhere because it's like three sets in one. Super pigmented. Really, really good. Um... I like the glow, it's like really glowy. <laughs> the contour is great colour, especially if you're pale. And the blush is just a lovely, like, flushed look. It's really nice and looks natural and it's beautiful. Um, the NYX HD Concealer, I'm not sure if I love this or hate this yet. Like, it, it looks so good on my skin and I love the colour. But for the thickness and, like, how hard it is to blend out and then it goes cakey, I don't know, like... I just need to find a super white concealer. So if anyone knows a super light concealer, preferably that's affordable, let me know. Um, another one I like is the Remmel Lasting Finish Concealer. This is in the shade Porcelain. This is super thick though. This is a cream concealer that you have to like scrape out. Um, this is great if you need to carve out your brows or if you have like spot pimples you want to conceal. That's what I use it for. But nonetheless, it's great. I got it on eBay for like $5. The Remmel London Provoca Lips, these are like 16 hour long lasting lips. This is in the shade Make Your Move, which is like a pinky mauve nude colour. It's great and it lasts super long. Uh, the L'Oreal Lumi Primer, obviously makes me look luminous. Um, Bookie Brows have sent, like kindly sent me uh, brow products, which I can open them. This is what they look like. So they have two brow shades and a brow highlight. So this is in the dark shade. So that's for like dark brunettes to uh, like people that have black hair. And then you've got the lighter shades, which I've <laughs> attacked thoroughly um, with the highlight as well. And it also comes with a brush that has the perfect angled brush and a spoolie. This is super pigmented brow powder. Like you barely need any to do your whole brows. So that's ace. They are really great. Um, something I'm not sure if I like or not yet. Like, I like the idea and I like when you swatch it, but when you put it on your face, it separates your highlight and your makeup. So this is a Good To Glow by Remmel. This is the shade 001 Notting Hill Glow. I like when you swatch it. I like when you put it on your skin, but when you put it on your makeup, it separates and it's just annoying. Like, it says you can mix it with your foundation, but when you do, it thins out that foundation and the coverage is far less than whatever you have. Um, and then when you put it on top of your foundation, it kind of just sinks in. And if you put powder on top of any of your foundation is too set, it's non-existent. And then you put it on top of the powder and that starts separating. So I think it was a good idea, but it was kind of a miss for me. I'm not really sure if I enjoy it. Um, another thing that I really did not like, this is the Remmel Color Precise Eyeliner. So I really like the tip, but the color, like... It's black at the moment, but when you go to put it on, it's, it goes like grey and it's not dark. Like, if you can see, I like my eyeliner black. That's how it's meant to be. It's meant to be dark. It's meant to be, you know, pigmented. This one, run out of its pigment super quick. This is brand new and that's, it's not very dark for how brand new it is, if you know what I mean. Um, love the tip though. That's great. 
but if I was to go get another Rimmel eyeliner, I'd probably get their Scandalized eyeliner because this one is 10 times better. Um, this one, obviously, I've used thoroughly. It's not as black anymore, but it's still got a lot more pigment than what my new Color Precise has, which is like 10 times better. I'm just adjusting my camera. So, oh, I can never pronounce his name. Makia? Yeah, so Mukia, Muk I can never say the name, but it's M-U-K-I-E-R, but however you want to say it. Um, these are their beauty blenders, which are super soft and dense at the same time. This is their little egg shape one, and this is their like signature shape. Um, personally, I prefer this one for under the eyes because of how it's slanted, and it's kind of like puffed out at the same time. Or if you want to blend in a cream contour, this is great. For this one... I like it just because of the novelty, but it is good for the under eye area or like if you need to clean up your brows You can like bounce it without ruining eyeshadow. So Those two are really great for me. I do enjoy them. They don't absorb a lot of product and that's like key for me Um, another favorite is my Chi Chi blender. This is always gonna be my favorite Um, it's super dirty at the moment because I used it this morning, but it's like just oh, Chi Chi just makes like the best beauty blenders. I personally think I haven't tried the real beauty bun because I ain't spending that much on a sponge, so. Um, a total miss for me, like 10,000 time miss, is Maybelline Blush Nudes Palette. I thought this was a total waste of money. It was like $23 at Kohl's, I think I got it for. And it has no pigment, it is super powdery, and like, just like, I, I, everyone's like, oh, it's a drugstore palette, what do you expect? Well when you're swiping your hand up and down on the shadow like this a billion times and then you swatch it and all you get is that for $23 I'd rather buy a sleek palette or a Chi Chi palette at least they got some pigment and they actually know what they're doing so um didn't like the Babeline Babeline baby skin from Maybelline it's nice but it didn't do what it's meant to do it didn't cover in my pores much at all and I don't really have very big pores like hopefully you can see <gasps> my makeup looks shocking up close oh but I don't really have like super bad pores but this just like made them look terrible like this is meant to cover pores and made mine look terrible so that was a total miss for me too something I loved was the Ben Nye neutral set this has been my holy grail for any bakage needs super white which is perfect for anyone that's pale sets my whole face and bakes on my eyes perfectly without leaving like the white film um something that was a miss for me in like hotter times um is a face saver if you're really oily i would suggest to try this out it's meant to keep like sweat and oils at bay so if you're super oily this may be something you want to try it didn't fully work for me but it still did at the same time so I may have to play with that a bit more throughout the warmer winter, like warmer winter, like when it gets into like spring kind of time. From Makeup Revolution, this is their palette, the protection, I don't know why it's called a protection palette, but it's got three concealers, a powder, bronzer, blush, and a highlight. This is really amazing for 12 Australian dollars. It's super great. It'll take everywhere for me, for me because it's got everything I need. The only thing it doesn't have is foundation, but concealers, blush, powder, everything else is in there and it's got a mirror so you can do your makeup in the car, which I have done a few times, <laughs> but it worked really well. Uh, Woohoo Body Paste, this was amazing, it smells super citrusy, it's natural, it's uh, vegan, organic, it's great for, even if you've sh like freshly shaved or waxed, you can put it on and it doesn't burn, super great and I love the smell. Um, I have a full review on this on my blog if you are interested, but this is Andrea roll on hair body remover this is like an apple lady style hair removal the cream itself is good but the actual like process makes it super streaky and i ho hope you can tell see like that like color there that's mold it grew mold in my normal cool like my room's not hot and it's not cold it's just normal and it grew mold within like two days after me using it so that was like eh. so that one's gonna have to go in the bin um some skincare at the moment is raw kaya organics this is mandarin and honeysuckle cleanser this is for normal to combination skin so my type this is perfect it smells so good like i think i just use it for the smell personally like 
<laughs> smells so good but it's really good if I want to pre-cleanse my skin to take like the first layer and the second layer of my makeup off so I tend to use this on like my exfoliator brush and like get all up in my skin get it off it foams really nicely and it's like I'm pretty sure this is cruelty free I feel like it is either way it smells really good and then of course real you cleanser I love where would my skin be without you I keep getting this because it's beautiful and my skin looks flawless I am doing a full like skincare updated video because I have some new tricks and stuff that I have been using to make my skin like even better than it was so stay tuned for that and last but not least Corinda organic skincare this is a cleanser their purity cleanser I had like the hardest time trying to get this stuff out in the shower I was like pumping and pumping and pumping it was like not coming out I was like I found it. It eventually came out. <clears throat> but I'm assuming like this tub, there's like a certain amount where the product starts in the tube and like you gotta pump it in. Anyway, it was a really nice cleanser. Like I still got some left, obviously, but um I don't know if it did anything different, but it definitely didn't give me pimples, so I'm not complaining on that side of the things. Um it smelled nice and I love the packaging. I think the packaging is beautiful. I am a sucker for packaging, like if I like the packaging, I'll probably like the product majority of the time, but uh yeah so that is my monthly favorites rates hates um if you want to see any other products or you want me to go in depth on any more let me know because i'll probably go in depth on my blog and i'll link everything else down below thanks <laughs>